welcome back to the channel. So, the first Toyota made by Hot Wheels is the 82 Supra, released in 1983. Here we have all the 83 Supras released by Hot Wheels. Now, before we go on, we need to mention this guy right here. The Mini Trek released in 19, I think it was 81 or 82. And this is loosely based on a Toyota Hilux RN30, I believe. Let me check. Yes, RN30. I'll put a picture up on the screen of a real one. But this one has that camper. You can see this one is still the original blister. We're going to keep it in here for the meantime. Check it out. So even though this is based on the Toyota, it doesn't carry the name Toyota. Therefore, the first Toyota made by Hot Wheels is the 82 Supra. Released in 1983. Now, Matchbox by Lesney made this one in, I think it was 1980, was it? Uh, let me see. Yes, 1980. Released in 1980. I have a video on the channel when I customized this one a long time ago. But you can see that it says Toyota Celica XX. In Japan, they were called Celica Double X. So this is the first Supra. First Supra. It was only called a Celica Supra here in the States. In Japan, it was called a Celica Double X, also known as a Mark I Supra. These right here, they're known as Mark II Supras. And I also have the one made by Matchbox. There are different variations, but this is the one I have. The back opens up, doesn't have a window. So let's put that one to the side. Funny thing. I think it's my second video on this channel. I made this custom and I still have it. And it doesn't look very good, but I still have it. Radocan paint, I think it was Rostolium. See everything I had to do. I believe this one was red. A lot has happened since I made this one. You can tell it's not one of the original because it says China. And I believe this was a red one, like this one. I really don't remember. So here it is. I even made that uh, back details there. All right, let's put that to the side. Now, funny detail here. This car in the blister was like this one. Typically, a Hot Wheel is going to face the other way. That year, most cars in the early 80s, they're facing to the left like a matchbox. So, nowadays, most Hot Wheels are going to face to the right. So, this is the first one released here in the States. And it's the only one with that back tempo. It also says Supra here in the corner. Let's flip it around. Made in Hong Kong. All original here. This one was made in Mexico. Look at the different color of the interior. This one did not have the back temple. Look at the difference here. 
see how they covered up where it says Hong Kong and then they created this circular, circular logo here. And that logo says Echo in Mexico. I have this other one here. Also here, we'll take a picture and put a close up up on the screen so you can see it. It's very difficult to see. So in 1982, I believe, Hot Wheels came to a business agreement with a company in Mexico, which they named Aurimat. And they were basically a company that made plastic. So they did the Hot Wheels. They also did the Barbies. Everything toy related made by uh, Mattel, that company made it. They did not do every single toy that was available here in the States. But this is the first Hot Wheels they did. So it's not only the first Hot Wheels, uh, first Toyota made by Hot Wheels here in the United States, but it was also the first car made by that company in Mexico. This one is very difficult to get your hands on and it's not cheap. The construction of the Mexican cars are not very good, but they are very uh, difficult to find in good conditions. Now then, following year, they were released in 1983, the black ones. And then this one was released in 1984, I believe. Let me double check here the wiki page. Yes. 1984. It's a bright red. Came in a blister by itself. The hot ones. It says Toyota on the side. Nothing here on the back. If we look down here, you can see that it now has that circular logo and it was covered up, but now it says Malaysia. See? First one. Mexico. So what they did was they shipped the mold to Malaysia they covered up where it said Echo in Mexico and then they added Malaysia here see then it was this one this is a color changer they were called color racers they're not the same they don't have the same tempo on the side And it has chrome black walls. And check it out. You can still see the circular logo, but this one also says Malaysia. Look at that. Then we got this one, green one. It was available in 1993, I think it was. Yes, 1993, Stow and Go gas station playset. It was this was available only on that playset. Look. Now, also this one says China. That means the one I did as a custom was probably this one, which also says China. But we'll get to that one later. So this is. China, you can see it, they covered up where you used to say Malaysia, now it says China. See a difference? Then in 1996, we got this one, and it came in another stone gold playset. But it was also available in different playsets. I'll put pictures. Let me put a picture up of the box with this one. And this one was a uh, one of the playsets was a 
Goodyear, and it was only available at Target, the little one. You can see it doesn't have details in the back either. This one also says China. See? And then 2012, I believe, we got the very last one. Check this one out. This is a retool. It's completely different from the first one. They changed the the base. You can see now you got to flip it to read uh, the base. So this one came in the blister like this, like a normal Hot Wheels nowadays. This one is made in Thailand. You can see right here. So this car has never been seen again. You can see they changed the tail lights to make them look more realistic. Wish they could make this car again. This car is not easy to find. This one I was able to, I've been searching for it for a long time and I found it on eBay in Australia. So it took, it got here pretty quick. It only took like six days. And I was very happy with that. So here is the first Hot Wheels. The first Toyota made by Hot Wheels. Let me put this here. The custom. And the Matchbox. Tell me what do you think. That's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Peace out.